The human cornea is one of the most richly innovated structures for pain in the human body. Therefore, the corneal reflex acts as a mechanism to protect the eye against harmful stimuli. Clinicians often test the corneal reflex in their evaluation of their patients with an altered level of consciousness and to ascertain neurological prognosis and even to determine brain death. The corneal reflex, like the papillary reflex, tests the integrity of three main structures. A sensory nerve, in this case the ophthalmic nerve or V1, the pons medulla, specifically the trigeminal and facial nuclei, and number three, a motor nerve, in this case the facial nerve. When the cornea is stimulated, let's say on the right side by a cotton bud, by saline or a puff of air, you would expect to see the right eye to blink. This is the direct response. But at the same time, we also see the left eye blink. This is the consensual response. But how does this occur? All right, so when the cornea is stimulated by a noxious stimulus, a sensory signal is sent via the ophthalmic branch to the trigeminal, or V1, where it enters the trigeminal ganglion and then finally terminates in the trigeminal sensory nucleus within the pons and the medulla. Then, indicated in orange, an interneuron sends a signal bilaterally, so both sides, so one part goes to the left and one stays on the same side, where it innervates the facial motor nucleus, in, indicated in green. Here on the right side, motor neurons are activated by this interneuron, which sends a motor signal via the right facial nerve to the right eye, specifically the orbicular ocular muscle, which causes it to close, and there we have the blink. And this is the direct response. But because we've activated the left facial nerve nuclei, the left facial nerve will also be activated, which innervates the orbicularis oculi muscle on the left side, also causing it to blink, and that is the consensual response. Dysfunction to the corneal reflex may be due to a defect in the sensory or the motor component. When one eye is tested, both eyes should blink. When one side is stimulated and the opposite does not blink, the issue is in the contralateral facial nerve. When the right side is stimulated but only the opposite side blinks, the issue is in the ipsilateral facial nerve. A common facial nerve dysfunction is Bell's palsy. If neither eyes blink, the issue will be with the ophthalmic nerve, which could be seen in a condition known as cavernous sinus syndrome.